Uh, Jeff, hi, Jeff. How are you going? Oh, hey, good. Thanks, Andrew. Good. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, I'll shout out first to everyone down in Snippy Bay. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk uh, about a little problem that we've been having in our uh, community. We're just a small town, a couple of hundred people. Yeah, we're about to say. Uh, sorry? We're about to say, yeah? Oh, uh, on the York Peninsula, uh, Skimpy Bay. Skippy Bay. Yeah, yeah, just yep. uh, yeah, really small town, but yep. uh, mainly in agriculture, livestock, and tourism. But right. uh, yeah, we've just been having a bit of a rough time of it, like with fruit fly and med fly, and like we had to hold delivery of our cattle for a couple of months earlier in the year for the ear, nose, and throat. Uh, spread starting over in New South Wales. Right, and, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. A lot of problems. But, uh, yeah, one uh, new thing that's actually been going on is uh, a lot of lands that have been bought up recently on uh, over about nine months, kind of secretly, we think, you know, about 70 acres on the southern side of town. And uh, anyway, but uh, it, we know that it's not for farming or grazing because, we know the, uh, you know, surveyor in the town, and they say that you couldn't farm or graze that land. Right. And also, uh, you couldn't build anything on it because the ground there isn't good for building uh, anything at all. Like, even single story, you couldn't put anything there. Mm-hmm. And uh, anyway, uh, I'm actually a, a bee wrangler, uh, so I do a little cattle grazing as well, but uh, that's the main way that I make my living. Bee, bee wrangling. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, be you know, beekeeping, uh, beekeeper, beekeeper. You would normally yep, call it. Yep. Anyway, no, so no, it's just you, you use you use you said wrangler. Uh, well, yeah, it's sort of a professional term, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Sort of. Anyway, but uh, yeah. So uh, anyway, it's about the worst season that I've ever had mm. so far, and uh, well, as far as bees are concerned, as far as just being able to sell anything, yeah. like. We, we can't sell anything because, uh, you know, we've had a couple of complaints saying that our product is contaminated. And, uh, like, there's actually a lawsuit right now from some customers against one of the companies that we supply. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm pretty confident that there's nothing, well, I was wrong on our end. But uh, I actually suggest that they might have some problems with their bottling plant, maybe some contamination on their... Uh, yeah, because, <laughs> nah, because there's a lawsuit and it's current, Jeff, I'm going to have to leave you there, mate, okay? Because... Uh, yeah. uh, it's actually not uh, It's actually not involving me. But, uh, uh, even, even so, anything to do with current lawsuits, forget it, mate. I don't want to know about it. Well, this isn't actually directly uh, related to the lawsuit, actually. I'm not talking about anything directly related to the lawsuit. Right. So, all right, can I ask you to get to the crux of what it is you're talking about? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, well, anyway, uh, cut to the chase. Uh, I've been finding a lot of dead bees in my, uh, you know, uh, hives recently. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'd been wondering what had been causing it. And uh, I, it wasn't viruses or, you know, uh a drought or anything like that. But in fact, uh, I, there wasn't any less uh, honey production than normal either. Mm. In fact, they were breeding more than normal, it turned out. Mm. And uh, so I waited one day and I uh, followed them in my car in the morning when they started to leave. And they led me straight to that block of land that had been bought up on the southern side of town. And uh, so I was interested in figuring out what exactly they were doing uh, on that property because nobody seemed to know in the town. Yeah. And uh, I followed them up to the top of this little hill, which was where they were heading, and there were two greenhouses there. Right. And in one of the greenhouses, all of the bees were heading into this crack in the mm-hmm. roof. Yeah. And uh, I went in the door, and it turned out that there were marijuana plants all through this greenhouse. Well, you like probably you probably need to massive. yeah you probably need to speak to authorities about that, Jeff. And uh, yeah, good luck with that. Okay, it's twenty one minutes to twelve now. Thirteen ninety five Adelaide's five double eight. My number eight double two three.